from Steak Farm here to show you a crazy card move. Uh, you guys saw from that little bit of a cinematic intro that it's a, a, a fancy way of doing a double lift. If you guys like double lifts or um, any other move, pretty much, uh, you should subscribe. And uh, I already liked the video just for that dope intro, right? Just because, oh boy. Uh, so here's the move. Here's the move. You need any sort of deck. I'm going to be using these... Um, nationals cards only because uh well you, you buy them so you need to uh, use them so here it's uh this is going to be a double lift now for those of you guys that don't know what a double lift is you shouldn't watch this video you should look at a double lift tutorial because a double lift is lifting two cards up as one uh so you could do many things with that move so for example if i wanted to take the king of hearts and supposedly put it in the middle of the deck and then snap my finger i could get that card to jump to the top of the deck uh, without any sort of uh, overt action uh, due to that double lift. So this is just a little bit of a fancy double lift that you could show uh, to, to give the illusion of singularity. That's one of the issues with a double lift. You really have to make sure that that card does look like a single card in whatever way uh, possible. So this is just one way to do a little bit of a fancy flipperino. Uh, make sure that your double lift looks... Uh, looks smooth. Uh, so let's get into the mechanics of this. First thing you're going to need obviously is a pinky break underneath the second card from the top of the deck. Notice that my flesh is in there, not my entire pinky. Oh boy, man, if only there was a Pick K Card Academy on Patreon where you could learn such basic moves like this for only $5 a month. Oh, there is, you should look at the description below. Um, so here you're getting a pinky break underneath the second card from the top of the deck, and you're gonna do a Gordon Bruce double here. You're gonna do a variation of a Gordon Bruce double, which looks a little bit like that. It's a very free-flowing double lift because you're able to apparently swipe that card without any sort of uh, problem. It looks just like a singular card. So you're gonna lift both these cards up as one, and you're gonna get into the mechanics of the Gordon Bruce double lift. Now that, for those of you guys who don't know, you're gonna put a little bit of pressure with the, uh, the forefinger there, bending the card, and your thumb is gonna slide down the length of the card. So the way that's done is that your thumb is just gonna pivot over so that the card can clear the thumb and revolve these two cards as one. Now notice that there's pressure being put between a forefinger and a thumb to squeeze the cards so that they don't uh, separate because they separate, then that's not gonna be a nice little action. But what you have there is a nice little illusion of singularity by just uh, flipping these cards over supposedly as one. So one more time, you're just holding the cards like this in this sort of grip. Your thumb is gonna let that card clear and it's gonna slide down the length of the card as you revolve your hand and turn it over to show that single supposed card. So that's done in this sort of way where you've just shown apparently the top card, but really it's two cards. But what's gonna happen this time is that you're gonna get into the mechanics of that double lift. And this time you're gonna revolve the hand back and let that double turn over on the deck. So instead of doing a normal mechanics of the Gordon Bruce double, you're just gonna turn your hand over. Your thumb is gonna lever that card over on top of the deck, which is going to complete double lift. So you have a nice little bit of a singular illusion there. Just by revolving this hand over, letting it flip over and using the thumb, notice right now it's balanced on my thumb, to lever that over and drop that on top of the deck. So when you combine both those two actions, you have a nice little illusion of singularity there in showing that card as uh, more freely than you would if it was two cards as one, which is kind of what you want to pass off here. You want to pass off that two card as one. You don't even want them to think, man, is that two cards? Uh, so just by the handling of that card, it should be apparent to the spectator that that's only one card. And of course, to uh, re-get the break, so you're going to turn this card over. To re-get the break, I trap it in the back here. This is known as the Altman trap. So as the card is turning over, I'm trapping it there in that little fatty part of my thumb. So this is where you shouldn't do the push-ups that they told you to do in PE. And what's going to happen is that you're going to put upward pressure with your thumb, which is going to lift up the card like this, and you're going to reestablish the grip with your pinky. So one more time, you do this action, you're going to revolve it over, you're going to trap it with your thumb, you're going to press up, the break is then going to naturally transfer itself to the pinky. So now you could turn that card over and do whatever it is you want to do, whether that's sticking the card in the middle of the deck or uh, changing the card magically. You wiggle your fingers around and guess what? You have that card on top back again in a very fair and uh, deceptive manner. So that's the uh, double lift. I don't have a name for it. It's just a variation of that little Gordon Bruce uh, double lift that I hope you guys enjoy. Um, practice it. Yeah, you practice it. I'm going to go figure out different ways to uh, fight Bowser but uh, still be cognizant 
of his lonely life. So I'm not really going to interrupt him and Peach as much as I should because I feel like they should be together because, kind of, I mean, come on. He's going out of his way. He's putting more effort than Mario to get Peach. Mario just dismisses Peach like she's just a, a trophy wife. But Bowser really, really takes the time to take care of her. So. See you again when I 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 see you again. When I see you again. 